Hey everyone, it's Helga or Pudding Fish Cakes here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you all how to make this adorable fox in a jack o' lantern perfect for Halloween. You can turn this charm into a keychain or necklace or even on a bracelet. If you want to know how it's done, just keep watching! Start off with some orange polymer clay and roll it into a ball. Next, we're going to make indents along the surface of the clay, like so. I'm using a pin here, but you can also use anything straight and thin, like a ruler. Next, we're going to remove the top section of the pumpkin. I'm taking a craft knife and carefully cutting off the top. Don't worry if this is a little messy, it'll make it look more realistic. Next, we're going to indent in the jack-o'-lantern face. I'm using a dotting tool and indenting in the eyes and mouth. Now, let's make the fox. Make some orange and brown clay and start off with making the arms into teardrop shapes and adding that onto the pumpkin. For the head, roll your clay into a ball and pinch the tip like so for the snout. For the ears, make triangle shapes and indent the centers with a dotting tool. Finally, add on the tail. Indent where the eyes will be and add tiny balls of black clay. Take your craft knife and indent the sides of the head like whiskers. Then, taking a bunch of different colored clay, add in small spheres for the candies. Now we're going to top off the fox with a pumpkin hat. Take your leftover orange clay from before and indent the clay like you did with the pumpkin. Add that to your fox and attach some green clay for the stem. Take your dotting tool to texture the sides of the stem. Finally, add in your eye pin if you'd like to turn this into a charm and it's ready to be baked. Place your clay on a ceramic tile or parchment sheet and bake using the instructions on your clay package. I'm baking mine at 270 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Once that's out of the oven, we're going to paint on some details with acrylic paint. First, fill in the jack-o'-lantern's face with some brown paint. Next, add some white paint for the snout and tip of the tail. And finally, add some brown paint for the nose, paws, and inner ear. Let that dry completely before adding a coat of glaze for a glossy shine. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for more videos. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!